So Jerry, why is CAW out here today? There's two employees that have been suspended. Um, one of them suspended effective immediately until such time they get their certification according to the company, which we are not aware of, so we're checking into that. Uh, the other part of it is, is the fact that um, another employee who sits on the union committee, if he doesn't receive his certification for painting, um, within 60 days he will also be terminated. Uh, so uh, the one employee is allowed to work, the other employee effectively immediately is suspended until such time he receives certification for body work. How would you characterize the, the membership's relationship with the employer at this point? Well, right now it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's certainly a, a negative relationship, unfortunately, and we'd like to turn it around to be a positive relationship. We need to uh, get these workers back to work, is one, and then let's turn around and hammer out an agreement with the employer and, and get this behind us and move on in a positive direction. Now, uh, you mentioned previously that uh, there was an issue regarding uh, regarding the employer making demands on the membership that they have certain conditions. Yeah, they, they told them on Monday, apparently, after the decertification vote, that the, uh, from now on, the employer is, to, or the employees are to treat or call them by their surname versus their first name. They're no longer allowed up in the front offices uh, as they used to be. And the employer, uh, a week ago, uh, during the decertification, had sent out a letter saying that they were all family and they treat them like family. So, I, I don't know, it, it, it seems like a pro uh, they, they pro pro there was a provoking function of uh, our membership uh, with, uh, uh, unfortunately, and we, we, we just got to uh, hopefully meet with the employer's attorney, uh, speak to him, and uh, hopefully can find a result. How many members does CAW represent here? Uh, 33. What would you say to those who look at this and describe it as old school CAW pressure tactics? No, I disagree. I mean, if, uh, if if you look at that, I'd say old school oppression tactics of the 1940s where you're being told that you have to call me sir, uh, Mr. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so versus uh, John or, or uh, Jerry or, or whatever. And uh, so, and uh, not to be allowed, you know, all union employees no longer allowed up in the front offices. I mean, that stuff, stuff that way back in the day, certainly not in 2011. So if you want to, it's not old school CAW tactics. The bottom line is membership has said I've had enough of being treated this way and I don't want to do it anymore. I want to have a decent relationship and go to work and uh, make the company money and at the same time I'm going to make a decent money it's for my family. How long is uh, CAW prepared to camp out here? As long as it takes as necessary. I see that uh, Windsor Police have arrived. Have you communicated with them at all? I've talked to them about, a little bit about uh, certain situations this morning but uh, uh, everything's okay. They're just here to keep the peace. Thanks, Jerry.